All right, so what I have here are markers, but for me, they're going to be missile launchers for the Hind, four per missile pod. And as you can see, it filled in the gaps ever so slightly. All right, so right here we see that we are gluing this door on. I don't know why Star Wars decided to put these slat holes in the side of it, but they're super annoying. And a helicopter would never have holes in the side wall, so I had to put double-sided um, masking tape in there to keep it from having holes, because that would be weird. All right, well this is it almost complete, and it is a beast. <laughs> this thing is huge. It's about three, three, three and a half feet long. And uh, actually, why don't we go ahead and take the uh, ruler and see. Yeah, it's about uh, 40 inches long. And just enormous. And uh, the back tail, it was imbalanced, so it was falling backwards, so I added a little wheel right here. And uh, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Blade turns, doesn't hit anything, which is always important. And uh, this uh, opens for the troops to come out and then closes back up. Love my 3D printer because I can do whatever I want with 3D prints. And now I just have decals and then I have to add a little part right here to fill in this little gap. But the tail turned out really good. The tail just looks like it's coming out of the body of the aircraft. I created 3D printed those little arches to cover up the rough edges that I created when I cut the back out of the uh, gunship. So, the Republic gunship. So, there we go. All right, this beastly monster is the complete helicopter. And so I designed my own decals as you can see here, and they are in fact in Russian. Got them right off the internet with my new decal thing, which makes me super happy. The tail comes out of there. Exhaust, um, fuel pods, and various missiles. <clears throat> and then this opens, and the troops go in here. They're kind of, their head's kind of up there. On the real one, that little flap right there here opens, but not on mine because I can get that to work. That's an actual Russian uh, insignia. And so this is the hind, so this is the nemesis of my other American helicopters. Right. Let's turn this baby around so you can see the rest. I tried to make it as close to a hind as possible. I really studied the hind to see what I could do to use the uh, Star Wars gunship body to make um, a hind helicopter. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. There's more missiles. You might recognize the one in the middle as coming from a little bird, uh, BBI little bird. <clears throat> the landing gear de detaches. This thing took a long time to make too. Let's go ahead and turn this light on. was very time consuming. I probably put like three hours a day into it for like 
10 days or so. It'll be about 30 hours of work, work for this beast. But yeah, I'm happy now that I did it. I uh, saw the gunship, uh, the Republic gunship, and I was like, hey, that would make an excellent hind helicopter. So here it is. Thank you for watching. Oh, let me get a picture of the tail. Most of this stuff is 3D printed. Uh, the engine cover is 3D printed. The weapon wings are 3D printed. The door is 3D printed. The gun is 3D printed. Um, the very end of the tail is 3D printed. Oh, sorry. This right here is a squirt gun. This part, the tail. And then the tail fin, the horizontal stabilizer, is 3D printed. This little part here is 3D printed. These are not 3D printed. And then I spent, I had to order an extra side because the one I bought only came with one side. Got it off Facebook Marketplace. I said, hey, let's meet at uh, Saltgrass. So I met him in the parking lot and bought this off him for, uh, for 80 bucks, but then I sold about 30 bucks worth of price. So it net cost me 50. Oh, let's do the top two. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching.